moment and we look forward to this great experience in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. late and she said that you are very late then she asked me to go and sit in the first row so i was wondering whether the first row for, was for late comments <laughs> but i turned to my left and i saw major men of god somebody shout major men of god <laughs> and the apostle drew said I, I salute you and said hey <laughs> so I, 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 he's even making the matter worse for me <laughs> hallelujah Praise the living God. I want to salute everybody here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to speak for just five minutes. And so, uh, I just want to uh, speak about, of course, I'm going to speak about, speak about the glory of God. And on, on that very night, I believe that the power and the essence of God will be made known to all men. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For the man of God said, when the glory of the Lord descends, everything, he moves with everything from heaven. And I believe that when he descends, diseases will be taken care of. When he descends, everybody who is afflicted will be taken care of. When he descends, everybody who is going through trials and temptations and problems will receive deliverance in the name of Jesus. Amen. But there's one thing I, me coming up as a believer, I have witnessed and has thoroughly and totally changed my life. And it's an experience I want to share with you. And I believe that it will change your life also. Amen. Amen. Now Moses carried the mantle that God gave to him. Moses carried power and authority. Moses carried a mantle that was able to divide the Red Sea. He carried a mantle that was able to strike. He struck the, 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 the stone and water came out of the stone. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Oh, are you, are you, amen. amen. But in Exodus, the Bible says that Moses went to God and asked God that I want to see your glory. Come on. Come on. Come on. Moses, who carried all the power and the, at a certain time, the Israelites were afraid of him. They couldn't just behold him. But the Bible says he went to God and he said, I want to see your glory. Hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. In the verse 20, the Bible said, God told him, that no one, and I repeat, no one has the capacity to see my glory unless they die. You can't see my glory and live. Which informs me, ladies and gentlemen, that the glory of the Lord, anybody who witnesses his glory can stay the same. Number two, You cannot be who you are and encounter the glory of the Lord. Something about you has to change. And the death it was talking about was not a natural death, but the death it was speaking about was the spiritual death. Death to self. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen, there are many of us God cannot do anything with unless we bring ourselves to a place of total repentance. He can't do anything with you 
unless you let pride go. Mm. There are many people parading as men of God, parading as ministers of God, who are walking in total arrogance. But God cannot do anything with you unless you die in that arrogance. Hallelujah. Amen. It is my prayer that the glory of God will bring total transformation. Amen. The glory of God will bring total liberation. That we will change not in our uh, physical appearance alone, but also in our deeds. Hallelujah. Total repentance. Repentance from all manner of sins. Amen. And that is exactly when we will see the glory of God. And I believe that on that night, the glory of God will descend and there shall be miracles. On that night, the glory of God will descend and lives will be transformed. On that night, the glory of God will descend and souls will be won. Praise the living God. Hallelujah and amen. amen. You, Clap your hands for Jesus. Mm. Very powerful. Mm. Simple. Thank you so much, Kewa. Oh, yeah, I'm watching for us. I'm watching for us. 
19th of August, the glory of the Lord will be revealed and all eyes will see the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Why is